the age of 25 and by the time I was 26, I was a father with responsibility. And I realized at that time that I need to do something with my life. And I knew that inside of me, hiding somewhere, is a photographer. And I decided a few months before my son was born that to be a photographer I need to buy a camera. And honest to God, we did not have money to buy a simple camera. So from the little money that I used to give my wife to run the house, and after the money that I earned in tips at the Taj Mahal as a waiter, she collected that money and on my birthday bought me a camera. For the students who will not will be surprised to hear this because they've never heard of a camera of that model because of the, the whole the whole thing has changed. It was a Pentax K thousand with a fifty millimeter lens F four. It was bought for two thousand nine hundred and fifty rupees. She got a fifty rupee discount because she was pretty. <laughs> she gave me that camera and I started taking photographs of my sons, infants, from the time they were born. And I realized that there was a talent inside of me and there's a photographer hiding inside of me. I was not ashamed of what I was doing at the wafer shop, but that was not enough. I could not have supported my family and educated them from that wafer shop. I needed to do something more. I needed to be a photographer. I stepped out of the wafer shop and on Sundays I used to take pictures. I used to go to the local field, the Maidans of Mumbai, where Jail Shield and Harris Shield cricket matches were played, football matches were played. And I used to go and sit by the Maidan wall and take photographs of young batsmen playing and the mothers sitting in the pavilion. A lot of mothers used to chase me that time. Not for me, for the photographs. Please. This is on camera, we can't be talking about this nonsense. But the mothers used to come and tell me, have you taken pictures of the cricket match? I said, yes, saying we'd like to buy them. And they used to come after me and I used to sell those photographs for 35 rupees a piece. 35 rupees was a lot of money for me. With that Pentax K1000. And I remember very clearly, I used to sit on the wall and with, without a telephoto lens, Rajin, without a telephoto lens, the image of the cricketer used to be so small, you cannot blow it up. So what I used to do is to sit on the ground by the boundary and I used to drag myself one, one foot. <laughs> Till I used to be in the middle of a cricket match only 10 feet away from the batsman. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting right there on the field, taking knocks on my head with that 50 millimeter lens, taking photographs so I can please the mothers. Please, there's no double meaning in this. They used to come and say photographs. And I used to take some nice photographs, even with that. I don't think that equipment makes the photograph, but it definitely helps. And young men standing by the door. You do not have equipment. You have... If you are a watchmaker, you are living in the heart of Switzerland. You are living in a pool of gold and diamonds and jewelry of equipment you cannot ask for more. But tell, let me tell you, equipment doesn't make it the photograph. Because I believe my photograph that I took on that cricket field was 35 rupees worth. I gave them the money's worth and I used to be very proud. I slowly collected that money and some of them cheated me also. Uh, no offense to the women in the room. But they cheated me sometimes and I used to feel very bad. But I started specializing in, in sports photography. And Mukesh Saab, Mukesh Pabriani Saab, is sitting over here. Please stand up and take a bow. Please stand up and take a bow. I tell you, I tell you, I will have the honor uh, and privilege of covering the World Cup of Boxing at the Bombay Gym Gymkhana in the year 1990. Right, sir? Right. And I went to a gentleman called Aspi Adajania and I said, Sir, I would like to photograph the World Cup of Boxing. Can I be your official photographer? So he says, I don't need 
an official photographer because all the press people will give me the best photographs for my records for the World Cup event. It's a World Cup. Olympians from all over the world, including the Cuban team who had all the gold medalists of that, that era, came down. It was a big event. A big, the biggest sporting event that was what happened in Mumbai. And I said, okay, sir, no problem. And as I was walking up the room, he said, come here, young man. He said, have you ever taken a photograph of a, of a boxing match? I said, no. He's saying, you have the cheek to come and tell me that you want to take photographs of a boxing match. I said, sir, the, the, the event is six months away. He said, I'll practice. He said, no, no, no. Go practice now. Come and show me. I went to the Western India boxing tournament. I took photographs for three days. I printed pictures. I came and showed Mr. Asfi Adhajaniya those pictures. Okay, sir. And I presented it to him. And he said, I knew it. I knew that you would come with good pictures. Sabi Fernandez was shooting. You remember Sabi, sir? And he had a letter and a jacket ready for me because he knew that this man who is desperate to make it, he has a will in his heart and a vision that one day he will make it as a photographer, wants to make a star. It is my duty to support him. But let us see if he's worthy of the support. When I came back, I showed him those photographs. He took out, opened the drawer. It is already ready, even though he had insulted me the first time. But that insult worked on me. Insults work. When teachers insult, you don't feel bad. They mean well, okay? And he took out the letter and he says, you are the official photographer of the World Cup. And he gave me a jacket with an emblem and my name on it. And I felt very, very proud. I had already done something good. He put me on. It's a little long story. I hope you don't mind. Chale, Okay, good. I feel, you know, people welcome me into institutes with open arms. Just because I played two, three roles as a principal doesn't mean that I should be welcomed in institutes like this everywhere. Nevertheless, I went and he said, Baman, there is the Norwegian team that wants um, three photographs of the Norwegian boxer because they are, you know, promoting him. So you go and meet them. So I went and met the Norwegian uh, manager and he said, we want three photographs. So I said, okay. He says, how much will you charge? I said, 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 how much so maine, in my life, I'm not a great businessman. But I made a business decision. I a business response. Tha. So how much will you charge? And I thought, why do we run ourselves down as Indians? Why? We are the best in the world at what we do. We, should, we, do, we lack confidence. So I said, sir, you will charge me, you will pay me. International rates. <laughs> Whatever you pay another photographer in New York, Japan, Budapest, Hungary, anywhere, I will take the same, not a penny more, not a penny less. Master stroke. So I not international rate is But I have I have empowered myself. Jacket to get हाथ में लॉलीपॉप कैमरा भी था मेरे पास और फ्रेंड्स वुड गिव मी लेंसेस आई कुड नॉट अफोर्ड द लेंसेस एंड फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द प्रेस वुड से क्लिक ऑन अनदर लेंस एंड गिव इट टू मी इट इज द काइंडनेस ऑफ अदर्स दैट मेक्स यू डू वंडरफुल थिंग्स समटाइम्स एंड आई नेवर फॉरगेट दैट आई नेवर फॉरगेट व्हेन पीपल यूज्ड टू सी दैट आई एम स्ट्रेनिंग बिकॉज़ आई डोंट हैव अनदर लेंस दे वुड टैप मी ऑन द शोल्डर टेक माय कैमरा अनप्लग अनक्लिप माय लेंस एंड पुट अनदर लेंस and give it to me, sir. Play photo. So when I see all those lenses on that table, sir, I go back. And that is why I became emotional. Because it is these little gestures that were made by people then that make me who I am today. And it is what you are doing and putting all those lenses on that table for the students to give them an opportunity to do their best. Give them the best opportunity and you've done that. Anyway, I took those photographs and I took three wonderful photographs and I went and I said, 
I printed them there and then. I went, I made the prints, black and white shaded. I came back and I went to VSNL to radio photo them. Us work kuch, internet bhi nahi tha, kuch nahi tha. 1990, radio photo used to take how many, how many hours to, to process and send? A couple or two, three hours for an image? Hour and a half? Yes? So three photographs will be sent, hour and a half, we are talking about four and a half hours from 11 o'clock in the night to maybe three o'clock or so in the morning, it, this must have happened. I went home, I went home, I get a call from Norway and the call says, Mr. Irani, my name, my name is Trig Sandhu, I remember that name very well and sir, we 